Crossville has a history, a racial stuff, which I don't know how to explain Nashville is more diverse. You're right that it can be difficult to fully explain the complex historical roots and persisting effects of racism in any given location, some high-level points that could help provide context for why Crossville may still seem impacted by its past in ways a larger, more diversity like Nashville isn't. Decades centuries of policies like segregation, redlining, lack of investment in minority communities, take a long time to undo their harm, even after laws change. Effects linger systemically. Rural, isolated towns might be slower to welcome diversity and address inequitable treatment due to less exposure interaction reinforcing prejudices over generations. Loss of economic opportunity and wealth building for minorities during times of open discrimination makes rebounds today harder without intentional support. Lack of acknowledgement or reckoning with past wrongs at a community level allows blind spots to persist about ongoing disparities and distrust towards institutions. When diversity remains low there are fewer prominent voices and advocates empowered to challenge outdated mindsets or demand changes. Stereotypes as a racist place can become a self-fulfilling prophecy if not actively counteracted through welcoming policies. Access to education on historical structural race issues varies heavily between diverse, progressive urban centers and isolated rural communities. The impacts of lingering systemic racism are difficult to untangle, but with good faith efforts, even communities with challenging histories can work to rectify harm and build trust over time.